Welcome to the tip of the week brought to you by wordlearningzone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you master and sub documents. If you've done any work with very large Word documents, you'll know they can get difficult to maintain and manage. As the size of the document increases, it becomes increasingly difficult to work with the document, to find what you're looking for, to format it and update it properly, even if you are using styles correctly, which you should be, especially if you have to share this document with other people. If someone's working on, let's say, just Chapter 7, and you have to keep sending them this gigantic document back and forth in email to get their updates, it can be very hard to work with. So what you can do using Microsoft Word is assemble your very large document using a series of smaller sub-documents. For example, let's say you're writing a novel. Chapter 1, Chapter 2, Chapter 3, and so on can all be their own individual files. Then we can assemble them together into one master document. So on my desktop, I've created a folder for my novel's chapters. I'll open that up. And in here you can see I've got chapter 1, chapter 2, and chapter 3, each set up as an individual separate document. And here it is, just some random basic text. Notice I didn't put a chapter heading inside of here. We'll do that in our master document. This is just the basic text for the chapter itself. All right, let's open up chapter 2. It's the same exact thing, but just to illustrate how this works in class, I've colored the text red, just so you can see the different chapters have different colors. And chapter 3, I made light green. Okay, so there's my three basic chapters. Now, let's create a new document that's going to be our master document. So here I am in Word, blank new document. Now, this works just the same, pretty much, in Word 2007 and in 2003. Of course, in 2003, the menus are a little bit different. We're going to go to View and then Outline. You have to be in Outline View in order to create a master document. Now, what I'll do first is type in my chapter heading. So, Chapter 1, Chapter 2, Chapter 3. And if you want to be more descriptive here, you can too. That's fine. Now, to insert your sub-document, I'll click right here after Chapter 1, and I'll press Enter. Then make sure you're on the Outlining tab. Come to the Master Document group here. Click on Show Document. That opens up the group a little bit more. Then click on Insert right here. It's Insert Sub-Document. That opens up a browse window. Go to where your files are. I'll pick Chapter 1. Then click Open. And you'll see that Word has now inserted that sub-document into my master document. Now, if you click on View and then go back to Print Layout, you'll see what happens, unfortunately, if I scroll up to the top of the document here. You'll see there's Chapter 1. And then if I scroll down to the next page, you'll see there's Chapter 1's text right there. What happens is that Word inserts a couple of section breaks along with the document. So let's get rid of those. Let's go back to View and then Outline. And now you'll see the section break that's in here. If you have Show Document clicked on like we did before, it looks like this, and you'll see a little document icon over here. But if you turn off the Show Document button, you'll see there's a section break next page. And down toward the bottom, there's another section break continuous. You can just click in here and delete those if you want to. Click Delete, right? Click Delete. That'll get rid of those section breaks. Now, if we go back to View and then Print Layout, your document looks like you'd expect it to look like. Right? There's your chapter heading, and there's the inside of your document. And it will look like one nice, seamless document. Let's put Chapter 2 and 3 in there. I'll go back to Outline. You can collapse these things, too, just like we do in regular outlines. Right? Click after Chapter 2, press Enter, Show Document, Insert, to insert a sub-document, Chapter 2, and there's Chapter 2's text. I'll turn off the Show Document button and get rid of the section breaks. Delete, and scroll down here, and delete this one. That is a little annoying, but 
It's just something you have to deal with. And then I'll insert for chapter 3. Show document. Insert. Chapter 3. Alright, turn that back off. Scroll down. There's chapter 3. And get rid of that section break. Word automatically inserts those section breaks for you. You can get rid of them if you want to. Alright, now this is treated like normal outline text. And if you go back to print layout, all right, view, print layout, there's my different chapters. There's chapter 3, and I'll scroll up, and you can see there's chapter 2, and there's chapter 1. And if you want to force each chapter to start on a new page, you can set that as a style rule, so that in the style for heading 1, it forces itself to start on each page. I'll cover that in a different lesson. Now, as you can see, this makes it a lot easier to have multiple smaller files that you can insert into a master document. Now, if someone else has to work on Chapter 2, for example, all you have to do is send them a Chapter 2 file. It's a much smaller file, much easier to manage. You can have multiple people working on different sections of this big document. This would be good for something like an employee handbook where you have to have the HR department working on part of it and maybe your attorney has to work on a different part of it. So that's master and sub documents. And yes, there are a lot of different options and different things you can change, settings here and there. We'll talk about more in our future classes. For more tips just like this one, visit my website, wordlearningzone.com. I've got lots of free tips and tricks tutorials online in the tips section as well as full-length, hour-long tutorials on all kinds of different subjects, including Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Access, and lots more. YouTube viewers, go to wordlearningzone.com YouTube and get a 25% discount on any of my tutorials.